welcome to another session of Business Data Science with Delali. And today we are going to talk about something very special. Okay, look, we've been talking about the application of data science in business and application of AI in business, but we've not talked about healthcare. Guess what? Of course, healthcare is a business too. Okay, but today I want to talk about some of the AI and data science applications in healthcare. Of course, I, I do not work in healthcare, but I have friends, you know, who actually work and use data in, in healthcare and I've, I've talked with them, I've learned from them and I've, I've done a lot of research, I've done some projects, uh, you know, helping healthcare professionals uh, make sense of data and AI and I thought I would share some of this with you as well, okay? So, what are some of the key uses of AI and data science? healthcare number one clinical diagnosis and decision support okay clinical diagnosis and decision support look this is one of the very important things in in healthcare that ai is helping now what is what is a clinical diagnosis look ai actually is assisting uh, you know our medical doctors you know our radiologists in actually more accurately and uh, even you know quickly uh, determining what is happening uh, in various aspects of their medical practice okay number one uh, medical imaging of course all of you know about x-rays ultrasound uh, you know ct scans and all of that deep learning can actually look at all of those images and try to classify them and detect anomalies and anomalies are the things that mostly the radiologists will say and try to determine what is going wrong with you know with these images okay so medical imaging is uh, you know one of the one of the things that uh, basically ai and, and for this matter deep learning uh, can help okay to to kind of bring out anomalies or you know detect you know issues with you know with medical images like ct scans mris uh, ultrasounds and, and all of those things so ai is actually doing a lot of great work uh, you know in medical imaging and of course it's not replacing doctors or radiologists but it's making their work easier and faster okay so that's number one Pathology and genomics, uh, of course, you know, AI can analyze very deeply, you know, biopsies and any genomic data to see if there are tumors there, apply a lot of classifications, uh, you know, classification methodologies to understand, you know, to or, or to even detect genomics, mutation, uh, and, and, and really do a lot of work. precision oncology, okay, of course, again, I am not a medical guy. But I know and I've worked on some projects where you know you've you've used or, or where we've used data to actually analyze uh, you know biopsies and uh, genomic data. Okay, so that's another thing that uh, you know AI is actually helping when it comes to uh, you know healthcare. Okay, another one is clinical decision support systems. Okay, of course AI can help. Uh, you know, medical workers and doctors actually plan out how to use patient data to come up with optimal treatment and treatment outcomes, okay? So things like, you know, diagnosis and treating different patients using the patient data, uh, you know, the, the, the clinical guidelines, instead of manually doing all of those things, AI and data science can help uh, with this clinical decision support systems, okay? so. So that's one of the big things uh, that, you know, AI can do, okay? Clinical diagnosis and decision support. Another big area where data science is helping a lot in the healthcare sector is drug discovery and development. Do you know that it takes about 10 to 20 years for a drug to be fully developed and go through all the stages from like target identification to cl clinical trials and all of that that's a very long time imagine if you can shorten that even by one year a lot of people uh, you know will have their health issues resolved with these drugs so it's very important 
uh, you know that that we, we you know we leverage AI for these things. Okay, so in target identification and drug design, machine learning models can actually predict how molecules interact with biological targets. Okay, DeepMind AlphaFold uh, for protein folding is one of the one of the very good examples uh, of how you know AI can help uh, you know predict some interactions of molecules with uh, biological factors okay um clinical trial optimization is another one okay ai can identify suitable targets uh, predict the clinical trial outcomes of these suitable targets and also monitor these clinical trials in real time to get insights guess what this will do it will improve and help us move faster in our drug discovery okay another very important thing that ai is helping to do is what we call drug repurposing okay ai algorithms can actually find new drugs new new new, new combinations of elements uh, that can actually accelerate treatment availability okay so ai is truly helping in drug discovery and development and, and we must all be very excited and promote the ethical usage of AI for this type of drug discovery uh, and development. Another thing that AI is doing in the healthcare sector is what we call predictive and preventive healthcare. Look, one of the powers of predictive analytics is to predict risk before it happens. But it's not only useful to predict the risk, okay? It's actually putting measures in place to mitigate those risks and the same thing applies in healthcare okay within predictive and predictive healthcare number one you can actually use wearable data and you know patient demographic data to predict the possibility that they will suffer from some diseases okay that's what we call disease risk prediction and if you know this risk what do you do you put measures in place to actually manage or prevent these things okay so that's number one thing under predictive and preventive healthcare okay in fact you can leverage ai to determine or to develop early warning systems okay by continuously monitoring patients uh, you know looking at their wearable data uh, you know their their, their their medical history uh, and, and and just make sure that you know if if you can determine that there's a possibility that they will suffer from certain diseases whether it is diabetics whether it is heart failure you can actually create these early warning systems okay so that they can go back to the hospital go back for checkups and all of that so that's also very very useful okay of course when it comes to broader population uh you know or, or you know population health management you can actually use you know predictive analytics to actually identify high risk groups you know in, in, in your population and actually predict what type of issues that they may likely get based on their high risk uh, factors and put measures in place maybe interventions uh, to make sure that you know all of these population groups or these population health groups uh, will, will, will not suffer from some of these things okay this can be used for short-term intervention or long-term intervention so predictive and preventive healthcare is one of the things that AI is doing in the health sector and it's becoming more and more popular uh, these days number four precision medicine look precision medicine is one of the ways that AI is revolutionizing uh, the healthcare industry what is precision medicine think about it much more like personalization okay you know we all know personalization what it means you know they look at your data to treat you differently right look precision medicine is basically using you know the patient's own genetic factors their environmental conditions and their lifestyle factors to actually come up with a specialized and personalized treatment for them okay and this is really helping a lot in helping a lot of patients to 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 actually get the best treatment and respond to this treatment quickly and of course get their issues resolved much more effectively okay for example 
genomic analysis is one of the it's one of the ways to actually identify mutations that are driving diseases for specific individuals and then suggest customized therapies for this individual okay another thing that is often done is what we call treatment response prediction you know this actually predicts how patients will respond to specific drugs not how the the whole population will respond but how you know individual patient will respond and then based on that insight you know a customized uh, process is developed for them and adaptive clinical protocol one of the ways where ai can dynamically adjust treatment plans okay based on real-time data from the individual okay so ai will adjust treatment plans based on real-time uh, data from individuals okay and customize their uh, you know their treatment based on this adaptive clinical protocol very very cool okay of course I, I always have a problem when I go to, to doctors and then, you know, they are not quite sure and they are giving me generic treatment and I'm like, come on, I'm from Africa and how I behave is not the same as how someone else from America behaves, right? So, you know, this precision medicine is actually helping a lot. So, so far, we have discussed four major ways uh, where AI uh, is contributing to the healthcare sector okay number one clinical diagnosis and decision support okay that's number one number two drug discovery and development number three predictive and preventive healthcare and then number four precision medicine there are many more ways that AI is truly uh, revolutionizing the healthcare and so watch out for part two uh, of this series bye bye